Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W47C of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. And uh, this is the fifth in a sequence of videos in which I talk about item elevator design. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over the options for the barricade block of an item elevator uh, and uh, what the pros and cons of those different options are. Uh, just a quick recap, um, the uh, barricade block uh, is represented by this red block here, uh, and it works in conjunction with the levitator block represented by this black block here. And the barricade block is responsible for sealing off the tower after items have gotten into the levitator block so that the levitator block can propel those items up the tower. Uh, now the options for the barricade block are actually pretty limited, uh, although there are some good options here. So uh, the, the most obvious thing that we can do is uh, just push up a block of the base of the water stream into the hole there We're using a piston. Okay, uh, just like that. Um, this, uh, this does have the disadvantage of requiring at least another block of space uh, underneath the, uh, the base of the water channel, uh, but it is pretty simple. Um, alternatively, we can push in a block uh, from either side into the hole, uh, and, and uh, that requires instead a little bit of space over to the side rather than underneath. Uh, and those are the two mechanism options that we have for the barrier block, uh, or for the barricade block. Uh, and the, um, uh, but we do have a couple of non-mechanism options, uh, and one is to use a cobblestone wall that is connected on one side uh, but not on the other. Uh, and then items that are aligned on this side of the water stream can actually fit through that gap uh, because that gap is a quarter of a block wide and uh, that's exactly the size of a, an item entity. Uh, and now uh, once, uh, once an item has gotten into the levitator block back there and the levitator block is getting ready to send the item up the tower, uh, the game is going to check to see whether the levitator block is completely surrounded by solid blocks. Uh, and it will count this cobblestone wall here as long as the cobblestone wall uh, is connected on this one side here and the cobblestone wall is connected to the levitator block itself. Uh, uh, so even though the gap is still there, um, items are not actually going to spit out uh, from the levitator block back into the water channel. Uh, now, there was a similar a similar trick uh, with upside down stairs that was recently discovered by uh, YouTuber Rob or Robbie. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not really quite sure how you'd like your username pronounced. Um, uh, but this was a really nice find. It was a nice innovation. Uh, and that's it works similarly to the cobblestone wall trick. Uh, but uh, for this one, uh, the uh, upside down stairs does not actually have to be connected in any way to the levitator block. So that gives us a lot more options uh, for the levitator block uh, with respect to um, uh, this, uh, this particular trick. Uh, now I, I have tried this trick on other uh, partial blocks uh, like uh, hoppers and anvils, uh, but these are really the only two that I've found that it works with. Uh, and I do have to say that this really feels like unintended behavior. So it wouldn't surprise me if it's fixed someday. Uh, but uh, for the time being, I think that Mojang has bigger fish to fry uh, for the 1.9 release. So my guess is that this is going to be usable for quite a while. Uh, and that is all then for this video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the options for the levitator block. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and thanks for watching.